What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Mr. Beast. He is currently in the item shop. He has an icon series outfit. He is part of the Mr. Beast set. He does come with two selectable styles. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Mr. Beast. Now everybody in the world should know who Mr. Beast is. He currently just beat PewDiePie as the most subscribed person on YouTube, which is a very huge accomplishment. Now Mr. Beast is known for his videos of giving stuff out, mainly money, cars, houses, and just having these challenges where people and even his friends actually do make stuff for money. So we're just fitting for the Mr. Beast character to actually make himself into Fortnite. He did play Fortnite a little bit, but not so much. But still, he's a very important character in person in the world. So there is two Mr. Beast outfits, the Mr. Beast 6000 and the Mr. Beast, uh, this one. And I'm going to just be reviewing this one for now and then the other one tomorrow. Now, this Mr. Beast does cost you 1,200 V-Bucks, which is not going to break the bank. But sadly enough, he doesn't come with a backlink. Now his selectable style is just removing his hand, which is decent, but a little bit underwhelming. So does he fit Fortnite? I think the Mr. Beast character fits Fortnite real nicely. I would have liked to see someone else, but I do think that Mr. Beast actually deserves being in Fortnite. Not as much as people as Ali A, Ninja, who actually influenced Fortnite, but he still influenced our society. So that's the reason why I think he deserves to have an Icon Series outfit in Fortnite. So what's my final rating for Mr. Beast? I'm gonna have to give Mr. Beast a 7 out of 10. The outfit itself just looks just like Mr. Beast and the skin itself is nice. I do like the sweater, the shoes he is wearing, even the pants. The edit style of, of removing the hat is alright. The only issue I do have is no backlink. Other than that, the Mr. Beast character is actually very cool and I would recommend you guys buying the bundle because you get more bang for your buck. So without further ado guys, let's get this combo started. Now for our first combination with Mr. Beast, we are going to be pairing it up with the cuff case. Now this is self-explanatory. The cuff case, you could have a briefcase full of money. It just matches really well with his personality, his whole thing he goes for. And it's a perfect backlink for him. Then for the harvesting tool, we are going to be going with the throwback axe. Now the throwback axe is just a regular pickaxe. I could see him actually using it. And in some of his videos, he actually does use a regular pickaxe. So that's the reason why I paired them up together. Then for the control, the cash flow. Now the cash flow is self-explanatory. It's just money leaving his body and he is Mr. B so it was just a perfect control for him. Similar with the glider, the big haul. The big haul was obtainable during chapter 2 of season 2. It's just two briefcase full of money so it goes with the theme. Then for the wrap, we're going to go with the Bloodsport Camel. Now the Bloodsport Camel itself is just a matte black wrap that does have this brown leather which goes really well with the aesthetics of this combination. Then for the next combination with Mr. Beast, we're going to be pairing it up with the Beef Pack. Now the reason I'm going with the beef pack is because he does have a restaurant called the Mr. Beast Burger which actually inspired me to do this combination. Then for the harvesting tool we're going to be going with the Durbarian Battle Spatch. Now this is just a sword that does have a spatula in the end. It does go really well with the whole combination of the Mr. Beast Burger itself. For the control, we're going to be going with the Renegade Blaze. Now this is one of my favorite controls in the game. I normally use it with all my outfits. But the reason why I'm using it with this is because you do use flame to actually cook your burger. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the glider. Now this is just a burger that you are using as a glider. It does have the chapter 1 glider design. And it goes really well with the Mr. Beast burger combination we're going for. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the roof. Now the roof wrap does look like the Burger King curse scheme and that's the reason why I'm going and pairing them up together. Then for last combination with Mr. Beast with the default letter style, we're going to be pairing it up with the Expedition Pack. Now for the Expedition Pack itself, it's just a bad fact you do have. It does have the tomato head all golden and it just looks like an explorer, especially with that hat. The harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the basic basher. Now this is a harvesting tool you could unlock and save the world if you do complete some of the quests in there. Now it's just a basic harvesting tool and it does look like an explorer so it goes really well together. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. The most simplistic control in the game. A very universal control and it fits Mr. Beast really well. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Salvage Shoot. Now the Salvage Shoot is just a regular parachute which goes really well with the Expedition theme I'm going for and it's something he would use. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Mayhem. Now the Mayhem wrap does have a cell shaded color scheme. It looks really cool. It does make it brown for the most part which goes really well with this combination of colors. Then for our next combination we're going to be going with Mr. Beast but we're going to be removing the hat. Now with this combination we're going to be pairing him up with Vintage. 
now the vintage backlink is just a normal backpack you do have and i mean he is a normal guy so it makes sense for him to work then for the harvesting tool we're gonna be going to the lamp now i could see him actually getting scared if he actually woke up in the island and grabbing the first thing he actually could get in the lamp i just think that is something that he would grab but control we're gonna be going with the sip ribbons now the sip ribbons again is a very uh, universal control and it fits really well with the curse game of mr beast then for the glider we're gonna be going with the emergency raft again similar to that of the harvesting tool i just like the, to think that he would actually grab this whenever he would be falling from a buzz and it just matches really well with the curse game of the harvesting tool and backlink then for the raft we're gonna be going with the scan light now the scan light itself does have like that mustard yellow curse game similar to the backpack and i just feel that it fits really well together perfectly then for the next combination with mr beast without his hat on we're going to pair him up with the swag bag now the swag bag itself is just a duffel bag full of money again mr beast is known for having a lot of cash on him and giving it away so i could see him using this as a backlink then for the harvesting tool we're going to be going with the third thumper now you could use the crowbar um i do have it but i just think more people actually have this harvesting tool and they're able to obtain it so it's just a really good fit with him then for the control, we're gonna be going with the beach boss. Now for the control, I wanted it to be more of a normalistic thing that he did have as a control, and the beach boss just fit that criteria. Then for the glider, we're gonna be going with the woolly mammoth. Now for this glider, he does have a Mr. Beast truck, I do believe, so I just got inspiration for the glider with that. Then for the rap, we're gonna be going with the boogeyman. The boogeyman is a very universal control. It is on matte black, so it fits really well with the jacket he is wearing. Then for our last combination with Mr. Beast, we're gonna be pairing him up with the twin crossfire. Now I know you guys are actually thinking, why is he using this backlink? Now the logo he does have is blue and red, which goes really well with the color design and color scheme of this backlink. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the power pole. Now for the power pole, I just going with the red color scheme it does have as a backlink. I could see him using a stick or a pole of this source as well. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the reality grab. Now with this control, it just fits really well with the curse games of the backlink. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the wild blast. Now the wild blast itself is a chapter 2 glider design. It fits really well with the curse scheme of red and blue. And speaking about color scheme, we're going to be going with the claymation for the wrap. Now the claymation does have a similar like pattern to the logo he does have. The color scheme is also there and it just goes really well together. Now for the honorable mentions with this skin, I'm going to be going with anything that just looks like he would actually use like backlinks, backpacks, anything with burgers so since he does have the Mr. Beast burger it's gonna fit really well with this skin now those are the 6 combinations I did find for Mr. Beast so let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite and if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos or fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you guys want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, two Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code in the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps the channel grow. And if you guys have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.